Hi, George here. In today's video, we're going to be adding in background here in behind this and actually extending our background out on both sides. Sometimes you don't want to be working with a vertical picture like this. You want to have something horizontal or possibly in this case, I'll be doing a square image, bringing it about this much on each side, that side and over here on this side. But that's quite a bit of stuff. I can't really do any copy and paste in here. There's nothing ready to bring out. I can't stretch it. That's not going to look right. So I'll have to use a different technique to fill in these missing areas on the sides. And the first thing I always do whenever I'm doing a new project is to make a copy of the background layer. And we'll do that here as well. Where I click where it says background and duplicate the layer, choose OK. That does two things for us. First, it gives us a copy of the background, but also it gives us a layer. And if I now save it, it's going to save it as the Photoshop Elements file format instead of the JPEG that it was at before. So I'll do a file and save. And you see right down here, it's now in the Photoshop format, which is perfect. And we'll save that. OK. Now, before we go on to the next step, I just want to remind you that this channel is completely 100% fan supported. That's how I can keep on making these videos. That's how I can put the time in to do all these videos that I make here for this channel. And I've done over 1,300 videos so far. And you can help out a couple of ways, a couple of three different ways. First off, right down there just below the bottom right hand corner is a button that says thanks. You can click on that and then make a small donation to help keep this channel going. A little donation of $2 will actually go a long way, so I really appreciate that. You also can support the channel by, of course, clicking that like button and subscribing. And the main way that I keep the channel going here on YouTube is by people purchasing my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, where I cover all the tools, all the menus, all the panels, everything. And you'll find a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's now take this to the next level and extend this picture out side to side. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to do a save as. We need to have two files. One is our working file, which is this one, and the one is the extended file, which we'll be putting in the background there. So let's do a file and I'll do a save as. And I'm just going to change the name here just a little bit and I'll call this one extended. There we go. Choose save. And I need to get this into the right format for our extension. And for that, I want to have this a square image. Let's go up here to image, come down to resize and canvas size. I'll set this at pixels and I'll just take the height and copy that up into the width. So let's just select this, right click and copy and select that, right click and paste. It gives us a square image. The anchor point here, this just shows you where it stretches out from and that's where I want it in the middle. Choose OK. And this is another reason why I wanted to make another layer over here. With a new layer, we get a transparency in the background. Without that new layer, I wouldn't get the transparency. I would get white instead. And we need that transparency. Okay, it's now a square image. We're going to be using the online AI tool Dolly, which is by the same people who make the chat GPT program. And there are a lot of limitations on that. One of them, the only important one that we care about here is the size limitation. And the size has to be at 1024 by 1024 square image. So I'll go up here to image, come down to resize and image size. And on pixels, let's set this at 1024 by 1024. Choose OK. It's not going to matter that it's smaller for us because we're putting in stuff that's actually kind of blurry in the background here. It'll work out just fine. We've even done this with highly detailed images and it still works out just fine. We now need to have this in a format that we can use on Dolly. So let's do a save as. And I'll save to the PNG file format. That works out well for me usually. So file. Save as, and we'll just change this here to PNG, which is right there, and choose Save and OK. OK, that's all set to go. I'm just going to save this one, File and Save. We're actually done with this file. Get that out of the way, and I'll bring back the other one, which should be here on our recent file list. And there we go. There's our image here. Let's now extend this image. This is the original image. Let's extend this one out so I have our square image again. And we'll then go over and make our new extended background. So image, come down to resize, canvas size again. Our same steps as before. Right click and copy and then right click and paste. Choose OK. Here's our extended picture. Let's now go over to Dolly and get those missing pieces on the two sides. Here we go. And again, this is from OpenAI, the same people who do the ChatGPT program that you've heard a lot about, I'm sure. And it's called Dolly. I'll put the link for this in the description. Come down here, it says upload an image right there. Click on that and we'll upload our extended image, which is right here and choose open. Now skip cropping. We're already set for a square image. There we go. Perfect. Come down, hit this check mark and that's now set and ready to go. Now go over here to this where it says edit and up in here, just describe what you see in the background. Don't describe the girl, leave her out of it. Just describe what we see here in the background. So it's a street scene. 
mid-afternoon, people in jackets, and they're shopping. And that should be enough for it to understand what's going on. Click on generate. It will then take this prompt up here, look at the image and try to match the image based upon what we set up there. So that's why I just describe what's actually in the scene. It's gonna match this gradient down here. It's gonna match the out of focus. It'll do a great job at this. And here we go, already looks great. Notice how the gradient just blurs out perfectly. Now, right down here, we have these arrows and these dots right there. They give you four different options. So click on the arrow here and you can then cycle through. There's a second one, here's our third one, and here's a fourth one. And find the one that you like the best. That's not too bad, but it's a little bit boring. Yeah, it's even more boring. I like that table thing over here, that's kind of fun. But I think I like this stuff here the best. So I'll use this one as our new background. She's accept. And go over here, little arrow right there. Click on that to download the image. And we'll keep it in the same folder. Choose save. And there we go. Let's now go back over to Photoshop Elements. Here we are. And let's open up that new image. File open. And there it is. Choose open. And then just drag and drop that over here into our image. Now again, we made it smaller because that's the size that you have to work with. Now to do this properly, just take this layer up here, drag it underneath the background copy layer, hide that layer, and I'll put it in the upper left-hand corner right there. Make sure up here on view, come down to snap to and make sure that layers and document balance are selected. They should be, those are the defaults. Grab the bottom right-hand corner, let's just drag this out. It should fit exactly like that. There we go. Let's now reshow our foreground. You don't really see any change happening here but she is now a bit more detailed because of course she's a larger picture. So the areas out here were the new areas created by the Dolly program. It blends perfectly because of course it was based on the original image. You can kind of maybe see where that dividing line is if you look really carefully, but no one's gonna be spotting any of that. If we're over here and look at the boundaries of our foreground image, everything outside of those blue lines is the new image. Everything inside is the original image. Now there's one more thing to do. And that's down here, bottom right-hand corner. There's always this little color chart thing down here on the dolly images. Let's go ahead and we'll fix that. It's gonna be on our background layer one. Grab our zoom tool. Just zoom in on that. And I'm off by just a little bit as you can see here. Let's just grab that layer. Control handle here. I'm gonna pull this out just a, just a touch. Okay, exact fit, that's good. Let's now grab the clone stamp tool. And I'll clone stamp from up here someplace. Alt and click. And I'll just clone that right on top and get rid of that and do that a second time. There we go, and just remove that little color chart. And then a control zero, go back to fifth screen. So there you go, there's how you can use AI or artificial intelligence to extend a picture beautifully here, and actually giving you brand new content if you need to change the format or ratio of a picture. Very easy to do as you saw here using that Dolly AI program. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. If you found this video useful, consider sending me a thanks. That's the button down there, bottom right-hand corner, just below the video. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. It really is the best way to learn this program. And there's a link for that in the description. And I'll see you next time.